Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Roblox Game Development. In today's episode, we're going to make a sh or start on making a shop GUI. Now, yesterday there wasn't a video uploaded, but there was a video recorded. In fact, a 20 plus minute video recorded. Most of it was going to be cut down because you guys didn't really need to see me make all of this GUI. I was just going to show it to you and explain what this project is going to be. Um, but it kind of failed and I didn't feel like spending 20 minutes making a GUI again. So, uh, here we are. Right now, this button will toggle opening and closing this GUI. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to make these buttons dynamically loaded from an array somehow. Um, not exactly sure how we'll do it yet, but I think I have a pretty good idea. Alright, so today, today our goal is going to be getting these to dynamically load okay so just first I'm just gonna prove to you guys that this does in fact work ish um, this shop toggle works at least and quite frankly I think it looks pretty good so I'm pleased with the results um, what we're going to do is we're going to make it be able to sell us this light thing uh, this burst thing, this automatic thing, and of course the laser. It'll just be the light. Um, that'll be one of the things you can buy. And I'm going to just free model a bunch of other tools that you can buy as well. It's, it's going to be simple. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Let's go to Start GUI, Shop GUI. Now this is where things get kind of iffy because I'm not sure what the best way to do this is. I know there's one thing that I'm going to do right now and that's going to be insert an int value to keep track of what page we're on. Um, page and we'll just start on page zero as whatever. It'll be page zero. But this is where things really get strange. Do we want to put this in lighting? All of the different names and stuff for the tools? Do we want to put it in the GUI? But then we have multiple instances of it and we don't really need multiple instances of it. This is where it gets strange. So I... I don't usually like doing this. Okay guys, I don't usually like doing this. But... This is how we're going to do it. We're going to make something in the lighting. Now the reason I don't usually like putting this kind of stuff in the lighting is lighting wasn't meant for this. Lighting is meant, I'm not even sure if lighting's meant to have anything in it. But people put things in it just because they can. But it's not the best way to do this. But whatever, I'm just going to roll with it, all right? So in lighting, we're going to insert just a simple bull value. This value will be literally worth nothing to us. Uh, but this bull value's name is, I'm just looking ahead and I can see so much that's going to be made difficult doing this, guys. But it's the only thing I can really think of. So we'll just name it uh, shop products. It's The value doesn't matter. Inside, we're going to store a string value. Wait, do we need a string value? No. All right, delete the string value. We're gonna insert an object value. We're going to name this object value whatever the name of the tool is that they'll buy. And we're gonna name this one uh, Awesome Light, okay? Inside of that is going to, the value of that is going to be the actual light that you purchase, which will we will throw this light, which is currently in starter pack. We'll move this up. Yeah, okay, put the light there. Um, and then we'll highlight both of them and do game.selection. Go ahead and come down to the command bar. Game.selection get one dot value equals game.selection get two. And as long as you select them in the correct order, that'll work. All right. Um, yeah. And then inside of that, we're going to insert an int value, 
which will be the price. And we'll just name it price. And we'll set this to 100 for the light. All right. So there we go. Now let's get to the script itself, okay? Change the name, change the name, change the name, change the name to one, okay? Change it to one. All right, so in the list page, let's insert a script. Yeah, a script, duh. Tool settings. Come on, Roblox. They made an awesome new font, and they made everything easier to read, except for the script thing. They just keep making it harder to read. Yes, okay, that's fine. Anyway, so, what we're going to do is make a function, we'll name it load products, and, and down here, we're, before we even make the function, let's make script.parent, go ahead and go up to the explorer, script.parent.parent, okay, so script.parent.parent.parent.page, that's what we're going to do. So three parents dot page. Okay. Dot changed connect function load products end. Okay. Could we just put in load products? Yeah, actually we can just do that. But at the very end we're gonna call load products right away. And you know what? Let's, oops, let's cut this and make it a variable. Page number equals that thingy. And then we'll copy that. And let's change the name to just page. There we go, page. All right, so here's what we're finally going to do. All right. I want to get this to where it loads if people have already bought the item, but we're not going to do that. That, that. You guys can do that, but the logic of that would just put way too much thought into this video for you guys, and I would not get the actual points across that I need to. So what we're going to do is uh, pn equals page.value, all right, pn dot Why am, why am I doing that? No. All right. So, page set value, and then or first product ID equals PN times six. Okay. Plus one, right? So if it were the second, third page, it'd be thirteen. Yes. All right. So what we're doing here is we're going to start because if we look here. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six. On the next page, it'd be seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Next page, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and so forth. So we want to multiply whatever page number we're on by six. Yeah, times six plus one because actually the first page is its page ID will be zero. Okay, so we're gonna multiply it by six and then add one, and therefore. Oh, this is a long video of me just thinking stuff through. Anyway, so there we go. That's good. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get everything done in this episode, but I know I shouldn't. All right, so we're just going to make a for loop. Um, okay, so for i equals first product id I less than or equal, wait, six do, there we go, six do, all right, so it starts off at the product ID and goes through six times, for I equals one, six do, I'll show you guys why in a minute, and let's make another, which will be list equals script dot parent, Okay, so list.text equals, uh, not list.text, list i plus this dot text equals because in our list we have one, two, three, four, five, six, 
We're doing it six times. One through six are all valid names. This page. All right. Good. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. I'm just joking. Anyway, let's make an if first. If, and what did we name this? Shop products. Okay. We'll make another products equals game dot lighting dot shop products. All right. So if, and let's make another uh, variable in this function, and it'll be max products equals products get children. And we're actually going to put a hashtag right there so that we get the length, the number of product or children in the products. All right. So if I plus first product ID is greater than max products then return and end and actually let's just make it break okay but if that's not the case if it's not greater than that then its text will be products i plus first product ID and we'll actually make this a variable since we're using it so twice um, product ID okay so product ID plus this so, or not plus that that concatenate it concatenate it concatenate it that way it becomes a string and it's not a number so that we're not indexing that nth child, we're actually indexing the child with that name. Um, dot 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 dot, and you know what? We're gonna make this a variable too. Okay, we're gonna make product equal that. So it'll be product, and what do we have inside? Okay, we have one. Okay, product that value that name because that'll lead to the weapon that you're buying. Okay, product like this one up here is a product that value which leads to the light that name that that and then product dot price dot value okay this should work fine I know I've taken forever to do this I've cut out a lot hopefully I think I'll cut out a lot probably every time I'm like eh, eh, or, ah. um, I'll cut it out and there's an error on line 14 of course there is 14 oh wow if product ID is greater than max products. There we go. I don't know how I missed that. Yeah, I can't compare nothing to something. It's not possible. All right. I mean, it wasn't even null. Two is now a valid member of bool value. Yeah. Okay. So we don't actually need this max products thing. We're just going to need if products find first child product ID that that there then if not else make the variable all right there we go now press f6 this video is almost 20 minutes long too just like yesterday's Whew. all right I don't know what the problem is here. But there's obviously a problem. Shop products. Okay. So let's go to our players. Player 1, player GUI, shop GUI, frame. Oh, wait, no. Page. Just change page to like 1. And then 0 again. Okay. That's weird. Go back to the script. What's the problem? What could possibly be the problem? List, which is script.parent, 
and then index them by their names starting at one dot text right dot text equals product dot value dot name concatenate a hyphen concatenate the value we don't need that plus one. Oh, there we go it's working light 100 boom baby right boom baby okay so the light is now working guys the lights working it's amazing right of course it's amazing duh all right guys thank you for watching me pitifully try to explain something that I didn't even completely understand yet um, I I've got a great idea for how we're going to do this in my head though so we're going to make it super far in this this GUI shop is going to be awesome all right so thank you guys for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button please hit the like or the dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video and I will catch you guys later